there is a need from the market because when you are talking to our students, they want to be specialized in the in the field of management. So not only they are chartered qualified HR practitioners, of course they can be specialized going through this diploma. So I have a moral obligation, professional obligation to go for a diploma like this, aiming at uplifting the knowledge, technical know-how of main HR professionals who manage health and safety in this country, mostly health and safety comes under a chart in most of the industry. When you come to this program, it is a unique program because two related course modules have been combined to develop this program. One is industrial relations, other one is employment law. When you come to this diploma program, this program has been developed for the benefit of the people who are in the field of human resource management and also for those who aspire to be in the field of human resource management. Singha of CIPM, thank you so much for uh, bringing your old uh, old family member, the ILO, after 60 years uh, back at this very important stage and to invite me as I'm currently serving as ILO director here uh, for four years um, to this uh, very important uh, milestone, I think, in, in your new history books uh, coming forward for the CIPM, so thank you so much. And I'd also uh, like to recognize that you have uh, certainly selected uh, two of the best experts to have developed these modules, uh, have a long-standing engagement with both uh, Professor Sarveswaran and Dr. Palipane, and they are really resourceful. And from what I hear about these courses, uh, I wish I could be a student again. <laughs> and study them, uh, it would have been, instead of my 20-something years with ILO, I could have learned it like this in a diploma. You, know, you, you have very, very good, uh, good, good resources, so I'm very pleased that you are launching this. In fact, um, this, uh, this program, like when I, um, I'm not doing many physical events, but, you know, Dr. Palapane can be a bit convincing because of his perseverance. <laughs> But at any rate, when I heard about the topics, actually, immediately um, I felt, okay, this is really important, uh, and I'm so pleased that CIPM is moving with the times and launching this type of diploma because this is the need of the hour, the issue of the day, uh, and something that is needed in terms of the future in particular and, and in these COVID times that we have not left yet, unfortunately. Uh, but even if you look at what the ILO has been talking about after our hundred years on this, uh, in this world um, of existence, it's been something about the future of work. Uh, we have a declaration after a hundred years about what the future of work di directions will be, including uh, what we have uh, perceived to be the issues in Sri Lanka. And let me tell you precisely these areas of safety and health and uh, industrial disputes and uh, employment law are really, really critical going forward because if you don't get any of those things right, you're not going to have a future that's productive, you're not gonna have a future um, that is, uh, what do you call it, equitable, et cetera, going forward. So it's really important that this course goes forward. And then with COVID, certainly, these have been the two issues that have come up, safety and health, how can we keep workplaces safe? How can, when workers come back, can they be safe? Uh, it's through in a whole new dimension of psychosocial well-being. Because...